Hey everyone, it's North Collectors here. We're opening up 2021 Topps Heritage High Number Baseball. We have two blaster boxes here that we got from Meyer. I think this came out uh, retail-wise over a week ago, just over a week ago. The hobby comes out this week. Um, always fun. Uh, these blasters have been very good to us in the past. Um, you've got to open up quite a few of them, though, normally to, you know, kind of uh, get anything. Get anything, but. Yeah. We pulled autographs out of here. We pulled um, some weird short prints. We pulled relics, obviously. So there's a lot of stuff you can get out of these, and they're 25 bucks at our Meyer. I think maybe Walmart has them cheaper. I'm guessing. Maybe. Um, I think most of the stuff at Walmart's 25 too. So there are the odds. Uh, Heritage High Number in years past, we'd open up blaster cases of um, when the rookie class was a little bit stronger in it, like in 2019 and in 2018. Uh, this year, uh, obviously not just because of the rookie class strength, but still for the price, not a terrible rip. Um, and the design is really, really cool, in my opinion. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a fun, fun set. Uh, used to be one of the more sought after sets out there. Now. You know, I think collectors are kind of going to the sh all the shiny stuff, but yeah, the older collectors still gravitate towards this. There's a Johnny Bench 1972 World Series insert, Victor Caratini. Um, obviously, looking for the uh, always sought after throwback variations, which are almost impossible. I think we've only ever pulled one. One, yep. Uh, but autographs. And this might be, no, this one, I don't know. You usually get like three SPs in these as well, at least in years past. None in there. SPs will be anything above 700, I believe. Yeah, I'm trying to see the uh, checklist here. Sean Murphy, Mejia, Cole Tucker, Renfro. Stasi and Zunino. So kind of an early look. Hobby doesn't come out till Wednesday. So uh, still nothing. So maybe the short print numbers are different. I don't know. We can look at codes real quick just to make sure that Base we are Base card is two six, number 216, I think. Oh, no, that's wait. That's not right. No, sorry. That's wrong. I was looking at the wrong number. Yeah, there's no checklist. Oh, no. Here's a checklist. Finally, I found it. All right. So, yeah. Short prints, uh, 225 card set, yeah. starting at 501 oh. to 725. Here we have a Chrome, Isaac Paradis, out of 999. We've gotten zero short prints yet, which is interesting. Yeah, so I think over 700, as Luke said, is going to be a short print. Just double check here. Normally you get a few, we just haven't. Oh, there's one in that pack. Walker Bueller, that was weird with the Chrome had an SP. So Walker Bueller SP. Oh, you got a chrome. You got a chrome. I didn't see. It. I was looking at the checklist. Yeah. <clears throat> so you usually get Home one run robbery. You usually get one special card per box, right? Usually. Yeah, usually. Not always, but. It's a cool usually. Kyle Lewis jumping with the Jimmy Johns in the background. Next up, Iglesias Snell. Yeah. So December is going to be kind of crazy for products coming out. Uh, nothing came out, it seemed like, in November, in the beginning. Then stuff started yeah. to come out in the end of November, and now in December, everything's coming out. So it'll be pretty interesting. A lot of fun stuff. Draft is the biggest one, Bowman's best. Um, and then there's one other one, too, a high number. I think there's one other product, though, as well, that's coming out. There's a Mike Clevenger SP, and did you find one, too? Yes, the uh, Carantini. All right, so that'll be our three SPs. Victor. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else left in that, but we'll see. You're up here, sir. So, unfortunately, 2021, the rookie class, not all that great. Um, so, kind of put a damper on the products. But this is a really fun product. If you like building sets or you just like chasing some rare cards, these can go for a lot of a lot of money. That you know, people do collect this pretty heavily still, even though it's not as popular. Um, there's still a lot of avid collectors of heritage out there. So surprisingly, some of these hits um, and parallels can get a pretty good penny if you get the right right guy. That's always the key, though, getting the right guy. I think the one time we got a throwback, it was not a very good throwback. 
I can't no. remember who it was. It was Andrew that McCutcheon. bad. Oh, yeah, Andrew McCutcheon, right. Yeah, so now maybe if it was Andrew McCutcheon after he had that famous... Ooh, we got a hot box. Interesting. And a and chrome, a chrome refractor. refractor. All right, so this is good. It's a good start. Let's see who the chrome refractor is. Blake, Blake Snow. Snell. Okay. 572. The chrome refractors look awesome. Yeah, the chrome refractors. Very cool. Actually, one of the nicer baseball cards out there, in my opinion. Yes, agreed. Um, for a lower end product. That was an insert. Yeah, so we'll see if there's any um, short prints there. But so a hot box is basically you're going to get one purple refractor per um, per pack. So that is what is considered a hot box. Which Always fun. They make them in hobby and at retail. Um, Jonathan, bad. yeah, that's a good one. Rookie of the year it's for also the nice NL. That these aren't the tandem ones, you know. Right. Like regular. Heritage. Right. Right. Remember, they have the regular rookies, not the. Tandem, yeah, de so. depending on the year that they're copying, if the, you know, year that they're making the heritage set of back in the day had a tandem rookie. That's what they do in the regular, but high number they don't. Yeah, high number nice. regardless they don't. So well, there's a Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant, um, free agent, right? I think he's. I believe so. I think because people think he's going to resign. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I read somewhere that it didn't look like he was going to resign, but who knows? Tigers made some big moves, picking up Javi. Yeah, they pick up Javi. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean he got paid a ton of money. So well, yeah, can't he... blame him for coming to Detroit. <laughs> we'll see. If, we'll see <laughs> You'd have they... to to get paid to go to Detroit, yeah, right? To go play in Detroit, not necessarily the most desirable location. Lorenzo or King. club. Yeah, so I don't know these here. Just hand them on over. Hand them on over to Luke. So far, have we found any? One David Dahl. One David Dahl. So we got one short print. Generally speaking, you get three in a blaster, but not always. Almost always. Pretty confidently, you can say three. That's a sweet looking card. That is cool. 3,000. Yeah, Roberto Clemente. That is a really cool looking card. There is a um, another red. Um, there he is. Jazz. Jazz had a pretty good start. Then I don't know, kind of. He's still somewhat popular, yeah. but petered out. But yeah, the um, hobby boxes are always fun. You usually get um, you know a couple um, interesting cards in a hobby box, but the autographs are tough. A lot of people get frustrated because it is so base heavy, which is totally understandable. But it is. For a set collector, there he is, Kirk. This guy is um, a uh, fun player to watch. Kind of a short dude, but um, yeah, he's a lot shorter than you'd think. A lot of charisma and uh, had some pretty good plate appearances in the last year. But the old Blue Jays, Toronto Blue Another Jays. Another SP was Brandon Woodruff in there. Okay, Brandon Woodruff, and. That's not bad. Andrew Vaughn, Vaughn rookie. Yep, yeah, he played. Um, I don't think he quite lived up to the hype, but not many do. But hey, in baseball though, you gotta wait a while. Usually the guys you gotta take, wait like three years. Yeah, two three years. I mean, really. That's one thing that is frustrating for a lot of people in baseball. It's not like basketball or football. Um, it's such a technical sport that it seems like it takes a long time for these guys. Now there's rare guys like a Juan Soto or something, but. That's pretty unique. Usually doesn't happen when they're pro ready right away. Yeah, not usually. Sean Murphy, Cole Tucker. That's kind of a funny picture. Um, and a Jorge Ona. Yeah, it'll be that's very. A, that's a, a lot of rookies we got there out of those purples. That's pretty cool. It'll be very interesting to see what happens with if the baseball uh, shutdown actually happens here. That'll be kind right. of big for cards. If that big. does happen, yeah. if it does happen, then I would say buy Bowman Draft and sit on it because right. ESPN has a contract clause where they will begin showing minor league games if there is a shutdown. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. And so if you see you turn on ESPN Sunday Night Baseball and Adley Rushman or whoever it might be right. is hitting right. Homer on Sunday Night Baseball. That's a kind of a big deal. So uh, that's one thing to look at. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. I 
I have a hard time like stocking up on baseball players right. until that right. shutdown right. news kind of fully comes out and stuff really dips hard. Then maybe you pick some stuff up, but definitely affects the uh, the market for sure. And if you're looking for some PC cards during the baseball shutdown, oh yeah, it happens, yeah, it'd be a great go time buy them. Yeah, because they're so. especially the guys that aren't like the Mike Trout's and stuff like that. Yeah, the guys that are a little bit more, you know under the radar or less sought after that's the time to buy those because people will be trying sure. to unload them all right well thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this video um we're we are looking forward to opening a hobby box this week so hopefully we'll get that later in the week and show you that video in the meantime stay tuned for other breaks that we'll do maybe a random pack break soon i know we said that last week we didn't get to it but we'll try to do that um, we got other videos coming as well so keep your eye on the channel hit that little bell icon and subscribe to the channel yet if you haven't um, also thumbs up and comment below let us know what you think of 2020 tops heritage high number baseball all right thanks for watching guys take care have fun collecting